So in this video here, we're going to talk about NERF, which stands for Neural Radiance Fields. So the basic idea behind NERF here is that we have these 2D input images from our scene. Then we basically just pass them into our NERF algorithm. First of all, we need to do, for example, like as we're doing structure for motion, we have our 2D images. Then we need to find the poses of our camera so we can actually relate them to each other. So we have these input images. We find these different kind of like features, the poses and so on. Then we optimize it with our NERF algorithm for all, from all these different kind of like viewpoints. And then we can render new views based on that. But instead of structure for motion, we're actually using like multi-layer perception. So we're basically using neural networks for doing this optimization where we go from these input images to our whole rendered views here. And then we can actually like render new views of our scene after we have trained our model once. So the way your nerves here actually like works is that we have these input images. So first of all, from our neural network or like to our neural network, we have an input and then we also have an output. So here we actually like have the main or the basic at the idea of what neural radiance fields are and what is the input and output from our neural network. So basically here, the input to our neural network is here to the left. So we have a five dimensional input. So that will be the position and the direction of each individual points that we have in our image. So we, again, we just have all these different kind of like 2D images. We don't need like any 3D information to be able to render the, these new views of our environment. We just have a bunch of 2D images of our scene. And then we want to recreate our scene. We want to reconstruct it with a really high quality. So here we have a 5 a 5D input. So we have the X, Y, and the C. So we basically have an X, Y, C. So that is the point in the scene of the point that we have captured with our images. And then we also have a theta and a phi, which is basically just the direction of those points with respect to the camera. So we need all that information for all of our 2D images to be feed into our network. So then we basically have our F here, which is the neural network here in this case. So our neural radiance field. So that's the input to our a neural network and it's actually like a really simple neural network it is basically just an mlp so we just have like a number of uh, hidden layers in our M mlp it is just a standard um, neural network and then we have an output from that again the main idea behind these neural radiant field here is that we have like some 2d images we want to train a model that can then reconstruct and render new views of our act like scene so we need to overfit uh, we need to overfit our model to our training data, which is not really the case often. Then you will actually create a model. You will train your model and generalize it as much as possible so you can do predictions on new data that it hasn't seen before. But the main idea behind Nerf here is that we actually like have a data set or like we have our input images. Then we want to overfit a model to that input. And then we can then render new views of that specific uh, environment or the specific scene. Then the output from our neural network here would be an RGB color. We have an R value, we have an RG value, and we have a B value. And then we also have this sigma value, which is basically just a, a volumetric um, density. So we also have a density as well. Then we can do this volume rendering, which is basically like the idea. We can also see here on these examples that we have these dots. So basically here, we just take one single point in our image, and then we just project a ray throughout the whole image, as we do in 2D images. We don't have any 3D information, but again, we just take a ray, and then we just take steps on that array with our images, and then we actually like do these um, samples. So we just basically, we're just sampling these points here from image to image. So we're basically just sampling images all the way up. And then we do that for all the different kind of like points that we have in our images for a whole input data set. And then we basically just have all these inputs, we throw them into a neural network, and again, then we get the output. And then the output over here would actually like be this uh, volume rendering, where we get this, this distribution, or we get this function here uh, following the density. So over here to the right, we can see that we have this C volume rendering here. So we have ray 1 and ray 2. And these rays here, we can see that on the B drawing. So we have ray 1 here for the first image, which is the left image. So that's basically just ray, ray 1. We just have a ray going out from each of the individual points in our image. We sample points from that, um, from, from that ray. And then we can basically create this density function over here to the right, where we basically just have our ray distance on the x-axis. So where we act like sampling that point from, and then we can also get a density. So the, the density will be on our y-axis. And then we can create this really nice function here of how is the density act like changing when we're getting closer to the object and further away from the object because we're doing this sampling on the array for all of the individual points in the image. Then we can do our rendering loss. So that will basically just be our um, our sigma values here or like volume rendering function that we have. And then we just subtract that with the ground truth. And then we just do this uh, mean squared error for all the different kind of like points. So when we do that for all the input images, for all the points in our images, then we can create this really nice volume rendering. 
And then we basically just have the densities for each of the individual points. We have the colors and then we can basically just combine that, optimize that with our annual radiance fields. And then at the end, we can create some really nice reconstructions and some really nice renders of our environment and scene. So this is one of the coolest things about neural region field because we don't really have this view dependence. So here to the left, we can see view one and then we can also see view two and then we have two example points for that. So that's basically just like one example of one point that we can take and then we just have multiple images of that point and then we just have an array. We shoot that array out from our, uh, from our image, we sample on that array then we just take this density distribution or like this density function, feed it into our neural network, train on that. But here we can see two examples we can see here on the ship. So here at the back of the ship, we can see a red point. And then we actually like see this exact same point from two different kind of views. But we can actually like see over here in the regions distributions, we can actually like see that the color changes uh, depending on the view. We can also see here in the water. So neural radiance field is actually like good for uh, making making reconstructions of like, for example, like uh, mirrors, like windows, all these different kind of things that doesn't reflect light or they reflect it differently. So maybe like the colors are changing um, or like it just depends on the view of the, of the optics. So we have like reflections, we have mirrors, we have um, windows and all those different kind of things. And it is act like possible um, to do reconstruction and a really nice rendering with those optics inside our scene as well. So here we can see in the water here or in the sea, we can also see that uh, depending on the view, the color changes because of the reflection in the water. And then we can actually see that it's also capable of uh, finding these radiant distributions here, finding the exact same points in different views. And then we can have this view independence where we don't really care about the views, the reflections, the colors. We just create this radiant distribution, take this into account as well when we're actually like creating our renders and training our models. So now we're going to see some of the results from these uh, neural radiant fields. So we have the ground truth over here to our left. We have the complete model. We also have a model that are trained where they, where they have no view dependence and also no positional encoding. So here to the left, we see the ground truth. We see the complete model here. It has really high accuracy. If we have no view dependence, we can see the reflection here on this like some kind of like track. Um, we can see that it doesn't really detect or like it can't see this reflection. So all these bars here should actually be, bl be black, but we have a reflection here in ground truth over to the left. But with the complete model here, it is actually like capable of that because we have that uh, have what we saw in the last slide where we have this uh, radiance distribution. We can take that into account as well. And over here to the right, if we have no positional encoding, if we don't have like positional encoding when we feed it into our neural network of where are these pixels here act like in the image, then we just get these really blurred results. We don't really know exactly where are the points or the pixels um, in our image. And then we will have a really bad um, rendering at the end. So here we can see some renders and outputs from this Nerf model. So basically here we have the ship, we have a Lego, uh, some kind of like Lego forklift, we have a microphone, and then we have some different kind of like materials down at the bottom. Uh, and then we basically just have different kind of examples for uh, different models trying to reconstruct and render these environments and scenes. So we can see here with the ship, we can just see the accuracy here of Nerf compared to LF, uh, LLFF and SRN and also NV. So we get these really blurred images in all these other different kind of like samples. Nerf is really close to the ground truth, as you can see. Like, I can't even like tell the difference if you're just like taking like a quick look at it. You need to like zoom in, go into more details here. For example, like the microphone, the grid at the microphone is not perfect um, as in the ground truth, but this is still a really good render. And here we can see that this is really zoomed in. Over here to the left, we can see the direct uh, the direct output. So it is really high detailed uh, rendering that we get out from this Nerf model here. And again, remember, these models here are only trained on 2D images. We don't have any like 3D information from expensive 3D uh, scanners. Uh, we don't like have like some different kind of like scanners that can do point clouds, um, reconstruct environments based on that, like high resolution cameras. We don't have equipment for like several thousand dollars. We basically just have a, a, a phone. We can just use a phone, a phone camera or like a basic camera, go around, capture some images of your scene. Again, you need like a lot of the images of your scene and the more images like the better quality uh, or like at least the better like the model can learn because what we want is actually like our model to overfit on those images that we train our um, neural regions field on. So basically again, we just overfit it. We train a model that can reconstruct and render these environments here and these scenes from different views. 
the results here are crazy we're going to cover it way more we actually like also going to see some examples so make sure to hit the subscribe button under the video here and also the notification bell notification so you get a notification when i upload new videos i'm going to show you how we can actually like download this to our computer we're going to look at uh, at the code from the paper we're going to take a look at that go into more details with that we also going to use something from nvidia where we can actually like have this user interface we have our 2d images we basically just throw our 2d images into that um, interface and that framework and then we can actually like create these environments here by ourselves. we can basically just go around if we want to do rendering of an object or a scene we can just take our phone take some images of that throw it into the model overfit the model to that data set and then we can actually like do rendering as we're seeing here in these results so here we can see some other different kind of like outputs from the model we can just see the details because we have this both like we have both the positional encoding but we also have the radiance distribution so we can get some really nice details and also exact details when we zoom in on the images because of this positional encoding so we know exactly where are the points in our image and also because we're sampling on this array so we have the density uh, for our function or we have a density function where we basically just sampling, we get closer and closer to the object, we have this density from each of the individual samples, and then we can create these really nice details combined with positional encoding. So here again, we can just see the results. Nerve is really close to the ground truth and way, 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 way closer compared to all the other different kind of methods um, that are like used inside of this field. We can see details, even though like maybe if we zoom in really, really close uh, to the object, we can still see some blurriness, but we have the position, we have the quality, we have some really nice render only based on 2D images. So that's it for this video here, guys. We we're talking about Nerf, Neural Radiance Fields. This is really cool. We're going to cover this way, way more in the future because it can be used for a lot of different kind of things and the result that we get is just really nice as we saw. We also talked about like some of the theory behind it what approach and methods are they actually using we talked about this uh, these rays that we throw out uh, we have the nerve optimization we have the positional encoding we have this density function and so on so all these different things when you add them together you get these really nice results with nerve so thank you guys for watching this video here and i'll see you in the next one bye for now